hey you guys welcome back so today is day two of the cabbage soup diet which is seven days and today is number two so today is all veggies as much veggies as you want as much cabbage soup as you want so i am going to show you what i am packing for lunch i am ready for work i got my t-shirt on my cargo pants and my black boots so i have some chopped or sliced cucumbers i got a veggie bag mixture that i made it has tomatoes broccoli carrots and celery so those are my raw vegetables i'm gonna take two bowls of the cabbage soup to work and remind you this is only an eight hour shift and i also sauteed some vegetables last night which looks like this and it has broccoli asparagus mushrooms red yellow green bell pepper um onions zucchini a can of tomatoes and a jalapeno so i made that up i made that last night because i didn't want to munch on raw vegetables all day today and plus i wanted some substance besides this soup so i sauteed some vegetables yesterday wasn't that bad um i was tempted to eat some oreo cookies late last night but i was just so tired of eating the soup because i had three bowls yesterday but i refrained myself from eating that oreo cookie so today i get to eat a baked potato for dinner so i'm pretty sure that will hold me over and i won't have a wake up and want a midnight snack so that i definitely need to stop because sometimes i'll take a nap i'll wake up like at one two o'clock in the morning and i want to munch on something i need to stop that so i caught myself last night i'm also taking some green tea on my drive to work and of course drink as much water as you can um the diet requires you to drink eight glasses of water so i drink probably around i want to say about four of these at work so yeah that is day two so when i come home from work i will give you guys a little vlog on what i did at work and what i ate for breakfast lunch and dinner so i'll talk to you guys soon bye hey my loved ones welcome back to my channel so today is day number two for the cabbage soup diet this is a seven day diet you eat only vegetables fruits and cabbage soup as much cabbage soup as your heart desires okay so if you want to see the menu for the seven days go ahead and click down below on that video which is called the cabbage soup diet plan i break it down what you eat day by day from day one all the way to day seven okay so today is day two day two is all veggies and as much cabbage soup as you want so like i you seen in the beginning of the video i had raw vegetables as well as sauteed vegetables and some wonderful wonderful cabbage soup okay so for breakfast i ate um some cabbage soup and some cucumbers for lunch, I had um, some raw veg veggies. I snacked through, I snacked on raw veggies um, throughout the day, um, and I made a mixture of broccoli, carrots, celery, and grape tomatoes. And this is how much I have left from the bag that a big old bag that I took to work this morning. And I also ate um some sauteed vegetables for lunch so i have to squeeze one more bowl of the cabbage soup in tonight so for dinner i am able to eat a baked potato which is in the oven right now i can't wait to get some of that starch 
Okay, the soup is not getting completely getting on my nerves yet, but it's kind of weird trying to eat cabbage soup for breakfast when I'm used to eating oatmeal or cereal or something like that. But it's not completely bad. It's not completely getting on my nerves yet, but I'm thinking day four, I probably, I probably will be over the soup. Okay, so, um, I recorded day one and day two today, so that's why I have on the same dress with my scarf. I just got out the shower, got off work, got out the shower and started filming the videos yesterday. I didn't feel like it, so I'm doing both of them today. If you like, why you got on the same damn dress and why you got that same scarf on and why you sitting in the same spot. Okay, so like I said, day two. So I am um, waiting on my baked potato to finish and I'm going to throw some butter on it. You can have a baked potato with butter. I plan on using some sea salt and some pepper on my potato. And I need to squeeze in a bowl of the cabbage soup. So I might eat half of the potato because it is a huge potato. Plus go, go on ahead and eat another bowl of soup before I go to bed. And um, like I said, I'm not going to do a total weight in until after the seven days because I really don't want to get discouraged if I jump on the scale and gain a pound or if I didn't lose anything. So we're just going to have to see, wait and see if I, your girl did it. So I have been following um, the diet to the T. Um, except day one, I did wake up at midnight wanting three Oreo cookies. It took everything out of me not to get up and go into that damn pantry and get those three damn oreo cookies okay so i am trying my hardest so hopefully eating this baked potato tonight i will sleep on a heavy stomach and i won't wake up craving something sweet but for some reason day one with all the fruit i wanted something sweet late at night but today i'm really not having any type of cravings for anything and I actually had to force myself to eat breakfast this morning, which was cucumbers and cabbage soup. So um, hopefully tomorrow will be another day to where I have to force myself to uh, kind of eat. Um, so the soup is not getting on my nerves yet. Um, I'm kind of afraid of uh, day four, which is the uh, bananas and the skin milk. Um, Simply because I don't, I have never just ate bananas all day and drunk milk in the summertime and just did that all day. Plus cabbage soup. So I'm pretty sure I will be going to the bathroom on a regular that day, which I do go to the bathroom on a regular with this diet. I don't go and have a bowel movement more than usual, um, but I do um, urinate more than usual from all the water which I have been drinking faithfully even when I'm at home usually at work I drink the most water but I've been drinking it while I'm at home because usually at home I drink soda and you know juice like that because that's what's in the refrigerator so um day two is not as bad as I thought it would be with the vegetables and you know I ate the raw vegetables and you know they didn't they were perfect for snacking but what topped it all off was the stir fried vegetables that really helped a lot because it was something different from the cabbage soup even though it was mainly the same vegetables it just i added more vegetables to the um sauteed vegetables than i did in the soup i think i had um red yellow green bell pepper mushroom zucchini broccoli asparagus um tomatoes what else did i have in there um i think that's it but it was pretty tasty oh and jalapeno i chopped up a jalapeno with some slices and it was really good so i might throw some of that on my baked potato tonight i'm not sure but day two wasn't that bad so tomorrow which is day three i get to have as much fruit as i want as much vegetables as i want plus plus cabbage soup and um day four is the ooh, the bananas milk day i am so not looking forward to that day so 
I think that is it. That's all I want to tell you. Just drink as much water as you can, as much water as your stomach can hold. Um, in the morning, on vegetable day, I would drink a big glass of green tea. And on my fruit day, I would drink a mixed berry smoothie. Uh, with no milk, but on banana and milk day, oh, that smoothie is going to be bomb because I get to use some milk in it. Okay, so for my smoothie, um, you go ahead and look at the video from day one, and it shows you how I make my berry smoothie. Okay, so green tea, you know, just throw the green tea in the water and then, you know, let that simmer, let that simmer down and go throughout the cup and then you're good to go. So I could drink it without sugar, but I used um, one packet of, not Splenda, Stevia uh, sugar, but you couldn't taste it and it has zero calories. So um, that is all I want to share with you guys today. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow on day three, which is all fruits, all vegetables, and as much cabbage soup as my heart desires. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. I will try to answer them as soon as I can. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for following me on this journey and I hope you love the video. So go ahead and thumbs up share and i'll talk to you guys real real soon okay bye